Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Join us on our Unplugged sister channel, Forensics Unplugged. And you can join us on Patreon if you like uh, contests and rewards and all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> Breathe. Today, we are talking about this really cool polisher and some accessories for it. So this is one of the tallest, the tallest, one of the coolest tools um, to come out in the last kind of couple of years, I think. It's a really cool product. Um, talked about it loads on the channel. Not cheap, but very good quality. Very powerful for a little mini tool. And I've done lots of reviews on it. I think it's a great tool. Um, now, the cool thing about this mini polisher is it takes the 75 mil plate and you've used that on this, this free spinning adapter and that just pops straight into there. No, no, you haven't got to play your nuts. You just pop it straight in. It's got this quick release system. Or you can pop it out and put on a little tiny 30 mil plate on a rotary adapter, okay? Primarily, if you're polishing, those are the two types of um, things that you're gonna use, okay? Now, a company called APS, and I have no idea who they are, what they are. Imran has sent these to me from Into Detailing. I saw these being kicked around, you know, on sort of Facebook and stuff like that. And I thought, yeah, good, good, good on you, whoever's made these, nice. I don't know anything about the company, though. Now, what they have got done, first of all, is they have made a 50 millimeter plate, which bridges, which bridges the 30 mil and the 75 mil. So if you're using 50 mil pads or a 55, two inch pads, which I think Rupaz might sell, Rupez, Rupev. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone else does 50 mil pads. Not sure, but if they do, you can now use them on this machine, which will be important for some people. Um, so that's great. What can you use them with? Because you have to be careful, because there's, there's a little safety mechanism here. So the rotary plate has a little bar in it. So you have a hole drilled in the flex proprietary 30 mil plate so it can fit in. Now, the 75 mil plate doesn't have that hole. So it's a means of stopping you putting the 75 mil plate on to this machine. Now, why would, why would flex want to stop you putting a 75 mil plate on the rotary adapter because the machine probably doesn't have the power um, to handle all the scenarios of using a large pad like that. A smaller pad is under less load. So first thing to say is you are putting a two inch, you've got the capability to put a two inch plate on the rotary adapter on this machine. Is the machine able to handle that? That's a question actually, I didn't even think of that. Um, we'll find out sooner or later. I assume whoever's used it has tested it and you probably just don't want to overforce the pad, you know, if you've got a stiff pad into the panel, because you might, the machine might not be able to take it. I don't know. I, 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 should, I would imagine it will be okay. I'd imagine it will be okay. The other cool thing about this plate is it's not made of plastic, okay? It's all made of, I, I think it's made of aluminium or some sort of metal. The extension bars I'm going to talk about are all made of aluminium. So it's a bit more heavy duty. People are telling me they've had issues with plate failures on these 75 mil plates. I haven't so far. Um, it'd be great if this company could maybe make a metal 75 mil plate as well, if there are underlying issues with this plastic plate. But I've not seen them. Okay, guys, so we can put... That's the first thing. We can put this um, plate on the rotary adapter and we can now use 50 mil pads. This plate costs 10 pounds 95, 10 pounds 95. That's expensive, isn't it? Um, so I'm going, I've got my review hat on here. That's reasonably expensive. Plates are expensive, 15 quid for a bigger plate. Um, so in defense, what I can say is this APS company are probably only gonna sell about 100 of these in the UK, I would imagine, if even that. So at 10 pounds, well, that's not even a thousand pounds if it was all profit, is it? It's only going to probably be about five a profit. So they're only going to make like 500 quid out of it. So I don't think anyone's getting too rich out of this. But if you think 10 pounds is too expensive for a little plate, then don't buy it. Uh, that's that covered. Okay, the next thing, the APS FV, FV50. This costs 9.95, and this is simply an extension bar. So you can see it's got the hole in it, which means it's going to go onto the rotary adapter so then that can go into your machine and then you can extend your you've got an extension okay but 50 mil extension and it costs 9.95 and it's made of machined aluminium and you can use it interesting they've put 
APS have put the safety mechanism in so you can't bypass and put the 75 mil plate on and bypass Flex's own um, safety catch, you know, like a way of stopping you do that. So they've, they're, they're playing ball with Flex rather than going off piste, which is quite nice. Um, it's also cut there so you can get a spanner on that if you want to tighten it up, um, which is interesting isn't it that's interesting so yeah what i'm just thinking i can't how do i tighten it up you've got to take it out there look you've got access to two bits where you can get two adjustable spanners on just to make sure that's locked in tight it will tighten itself when you use it so it's very unlikely it's gonna it's gonna fly off so there you go guys uh 50 mil plate and an extension bar for both the 50 mil and the 30 mil plates self-explanatory this is going to come in useful and um, you'll know if you need that or not guys but most people with this tool will probably want that capability the last thing here though guys is this and this is the uh, it's called the APS FVA 50 so it's a similar piece of machining very similar to this extension bar except on the end it's got this clever little thing here which looks like a, like a dart. You could hold a dart in it. And you unscrew this, and then you put this on a polishing cone. Put the polishing cone on here. I even talked about this in the review that Flex, you know, they, they missed a trick here, but there's probably a tiny market for it, so it's easy for me to say. Um, so you put this cone on, and... Um, then you tie, tighten it in with this into the rotary. So this is only for use on rotary, obviously. You're going to have a hard time using this on a DA adapter plate. And you pop that in. Okay, let's just feel how that is. You probably tighten all this up. What you are asking is the use of this. Well, this is good because... This is one thing that I've wanted. I've actually ordered some of these cones from Alibaba, ba 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 Imran sells them. I didn't realise he probably only started selling them recently. So you can pick up these cones for $2.99, um, which is not a bad price, really, considering he has to make some profit on there. He's probably only making a quid or something. Um, I think yellow is the coarsest, then followed by red, and then followed by black, which is more your softer one. Um, so, guys, you can see what you're going to do with these. You're just going to put a tiny amount of polish in there and then you're going to polish that top section there your bars don't even come into play really but it keeps the machine a good distance away from the door handle you can even turn that on and you're going to get a bit of polish over there and polish them out and you're going to put that under there and then do that bottom section and that looks pretty safe to me i was worried that you're going to be able to smack the bar but if you're holding the tool with two hands, you shouldn't try and get all the way down to the bottom. Just work the top section and then the bottom section. And also, guys, look, you can polish all in there. All things that I could never hit. I could polish the bottom of that trough. I'm going to say it um, for 10 quid. If you've got this PXE polisher, you are definitely going to want this F FVA50 cone adapter that's the that is the pièce de résistance of all three this 50 mil plate is nice some people will want it this extension bar is nice some people will want it everyone with the pxc is going to want that that's fantastic because the only previous solution was that extension flexible extension arm that you have to crack onto a rotary and screw onto a m14 fitment rotary and then sit the rotary down somewhere you know, or stick it in your pocket. <laughs> Big right now, you want to do that. Like a backpack, like Ghostbusters. Um, and, you know, or wheel it around on a trolley. That's just so much easier. That is absolutely ripping. And that is another little feather in the cap of this awesome Flex PXE 80 polisher, which I think is going to become more and more popular. Because not only is it a good little nano tool, good little micro tool, it's quite a capable polisher in its own right with the 75 mil plate on it. And you can, it's ideal for doing the whole front bumpers. I've talked about it loads. So that's it, guys. These will sell themselves. 10 quid for that, 2.99 for these cones. They'll sell themselves. Um, brilliant. 
brilliant um, stuff. I'll stick a link for it in the description. Try the code, discount code Forensics. You might be able to get 10% off. You might not. It doesn't work on every single product. Some of them are not discountable if they're cheap already. And Imran at Inter Detailing is already very, very good on prices, as you know. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Where was I?